of Unstoppable Equestrian. I'm Danielle Pools from Dressage Plus. And in today's video, I want to ask you the question, is your strategy letting you down? And this is to follow on from the last two episodes, uh, episode 33 and 34, all about goal setting and planning and um, really more, I suppose, about giving you some different mindset uh, ideas or approaches on how you can Make sure you're setting yourself up right for 2018 and that you're goal setting uh, with the right mindset and really thinking outside the square a little bit and thinking about things from a different angle and in particular your strategies you're using and not getting caught up in, in too many things that are holding you back. So today the question, uh, is your strategy working for you or letting you down? I want to go a little bit deeper into that for you. So uh, when we have a goal, the goal is the what, it's the outcome we want to achieve. And the how is the strategy, so how we're going to get to that goal is the strategy, the um, steps we're going to take to achieve that goal. And in most cases uh, with horse riding, most of our goals that we set are more long term. So uh, when we think about setting goals for the whole year, it might be um, a 12 month goal or a few months it, it could take to achieve that goal. So when we're thinking about those goals, you then want to break down and think about what's the strategy to get there. And what I actually find happens a lot is that we're so good at, or maybe not so good, what tends to happen is that we have this goal, we have the what, and if we're starting to like find ourselves struggling in achieving that goal or finding a lot of challenges around achieving that goal, we're pretty quick sometimes to change the goal, change the what, uh, or even let it go sometimes. And we're not so quick to look at the strategy, the how, and adjust that and be a bit more flexible on that how. So what tends to happen is people jump to the what, jump to the goal, and, and move that to kind of suit their needs and and sometimes maybe maybe not feel so bad that they're not gonna achieve their goal how they thought they, they could at the start of the year when they planned it. Uh, but instead what we should be doing is looking at the strategy and making ourselves flexible towards that strategy and coming up with different ideas and ways we're going to hit that what uh, if the first way is not working, which generally, especially in horses, the first way doesn't usually work. So it's becoming, I suppose this video is to make you more aware of your strategies that you're creating and making sure you're flexible in these strategies and that if you're not hitting your target or you don't feel like you're on track to hit your target, your goal, that looking back at the strategies, the how and thinking about how can you adjust that. So a really great example for you to think about this is uh, when I travel to Werribee, so if you live in, in Victoria, Werribee's uh, one of the bigger uh, event venues that you go to to compete and to get to Werribee from where I live, I have to travel through the city and go to the other side of, of the city. So sometimes on my travels, uh, you, we've got to go through um, a tunnel that's underground, underwater, and then over a bridge. And sometimes there's roadworks in that tunnel, and which means they, they close the tunnel and you've got to find an alternative route around to, to get to Werribee. So my what, my goal is Werribee, get to Werribee so I can compete. My how, my strategy, is generally the, the main way, the main freeway that I go on usually to get to Werribee. However, if I get a few hundred metres out from the tunnel, they tell me it's shut. Firstly, I, I have a little freak out because I hate driving through the city, but after I've calmed down, um, I then have to think, well, I've got to get to Werribee. I, I want to compete. The option's not to turn around and go back. So instead of changing the the what the goal because I, I don't want to turn around and go back I have to look at the strategy and I have to change the strategy I have to change um, not the destination but actually how I'm going to get there and obviously seek alternative routes and this is a really simple way to think about it in those situations it's a sh broken down short goal it's a one day goal or a couple of hours goal get to Werribee and if I hit a wall like there's roadworks on and I can't get through, I have to quickly think on my feet, how am I going to find a different way, a different route through the city to get to where I'm in. So I want you to think about this when you're hitting walls um, in goals that you've set or little tasks or challenges you've set in your riding. Instead of changing the destination or where you want to go, think if, if that's really the goal you want, want to achieve, think about instead how can you change the, des uh, the direction or the, the route or the strategy instead. And it might take um, as we discussed last week, it could take quite a few different attempts in changing the strategy before you get the right one. And that's where coaches and mentors and instructors can come in and help you get there quicker. So I hope that helps you look at 
uh, your goal setting or uh, how you're going to achieve your goals throughout the year and helps you work through it over the next 12 months and for the rest of your life, thinking about it from a different idea. Instead of giving in on your goal, giving in on the what or um, reducing it or bringing it down or changing it so much, think about how can you be flexible in this area, the, the how, the strategy. So I hope that helps guys. And next week I'll be back for another goal setting video. So have a great week, enjoy your next ride and I will see you next Friday, uh, next Thursday. Bye.